Council, we're looking to come up on CU 2017-02. Yes, sir. This is a uh, conditional use permit request by Eleanor McBurrow for a family personal care home for six children under the state's child caring institution program. The property is located on Hollywood Street, about halfway between Cypress and Eastview Drive. This is what I call the Cypress Street or Cypress neighborhood on the eastern side of town. Um, zone single family residential, as all the properties are rounded. Um, it is a transitional neighborhood uh, by character area and a comprehensive plan. It's surrounded by industrial zoning and development. However, uh, this is pretty much in the middle of that street um, and surrounded by residential uses. Subject property is a single family residence which has undergone several expansions. It now consists of over 2,400 square feet, a uh, pretty large residence uh, for six children, particularly. Not very much in the way of front yard, um, but I think a good sized backyard that is fenced in. Uh, properties around it are <coughs> typically much smaller single-family homes as well. Um, as you can tell, many of them have been here for a little while. Um, the only concern, of course, staff is supportive of the personal care home here, um, as you see in our staff report. The only concern really revolves around the front yard, uh, has limited capacity. You see the existing driveway. Um, you might be able to fit two vehicles in there, fairly tight, side by side. There really isn't enough room front and back. Um, what you don't see in this picture is another curb cut um, that has no pavement behind it, but an old curb cut from decades ago that is at the left corner of the property. The concern is that any vehicles for staff function um, be parked on paid services um, and that they not exceed three. Um, you could put two in the driveway, you could add on to this driveway or add on to the other existing curb cut to get the third vehicle, but that's about all the front yard can hold. Anything beyond that means creating a parking lot in the front yard, and that certainly would detract from residential character. Um, so staff is recommending approval of this with conditions that you have it before you. There are four of them. The first one is approval shall be granted or a personal care home in R6 zoning as a state licensed child caring institutional <coughs> facility, not to exceed six children. There shall be no more than two resident on-site staff persons and no more than three vehicles parked on the subject property at any one time. All parking shall be on the subject property on paid services as approved by the city engineer, and there shall be no on-street parking. The property shall maintain its single-family residential character, have no outdoor signage, and shall be kept clean and mowed at all times. And then lastly, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if no business license application has been submitted by that time. Um, in your packet, of course, is the mapping information that I showed you on the screen. There's also some information toward the back about the CCI program. And some of this we talked about in the next session. I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Mr. Folsom, go ahead. Matt, I was on one of the conditions, number two, the last sentence of it. How exactly can anybody enforce that? Um, just that if it's found, it's in this case deemed a zoning issue, um, if it's determined that the vehicle is related to this facility. In other words, not very easily, but if it becomes a problem, then there's a zoning mechanism at least in play here. Like, in other words, a resident from another house could just happen to park on the street in front. Um, part of the concern this is a narrow road. It's straight through, and it's just not a good idea anyway, particularly the children. There are several children being here. The visibility is reduced, um, and the idea is not to have it appear non-residential. Um, as we've talked about with other cases over the past few years, we've got some personal care homes where there's been an abundance of staff that have parked in the street and in the front yard and blocking neighboring <coughs> driveways, and some pretty extreme examples, and the idea is not to allow that to happen here. So could we add to that, says there shall be no on-street parking by staff or employees of the business? That would work. Mm -hmm. So that would work. So that would work clearly. And I, I'd like to follow that same thought, Matt, if you will, of what Commissioner Folsom said. I'm just curious, it says that also in that same paragraph number two, it talks about the parking uh, is subject to paid, if I read that correctly. Mm -hmm. Does that <coughs> fall into that two <coughs> That you have listener number four that, that could sub be, be subject within that two years to have it done or deemed at any time 
The two years is to get the use established. That's right. And if nothing happens from date of approval, then it, the approval expires automatically. So my question, but if month three from now, if it is established, mm -hmm. is there a timeline on that service could be requested? To be <coughs> All of these conditions don't expire. So the expiration date is simply to get the use established. Once it's established, all of these other conditions continue in full force and effect for the duration of the facility. And the only way to change them is to come back through the public hearing process. Okay, and I also notice on your number one condition tonight, as it was last minute tonight, you specified six children. Is that something that is enforced locally or through the state? Both. We put it as a condition on our business license and on our letter to the state that the state uses to issue the state license. Um, they will assign a capacity, so even if uh, we allow six, but for state purposes, in terms of their rules and regulations, the facility would only hold four, then they're only going to license it for four. Mm -hmm. um, but the state and the city work pretty well on that, so if they allow more, but we say a maximum of six, we'll go with a maximum of six and then no block. Okay. Very good. Commissioner, do you have any questions for staff? And part of the rationale there, too, Mr. Chairman, on number one, is it zoned R6. Yes, sir. Six persons in a personal care home is the most you can ask for. Okay. Fair enough. Any other questions for staff commissioners? Commissioner Wallace? So the applicant is agreeable and satisfied with all the conditions? I believe so. She is here, and I was, is probably going to be speaking to you, so you can get it directly from the source. Anybody else have anything, commissioners? There being none at this time, we will open this up to the public part. Anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. And if you don't mind, state your name and your address for the record. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm Helen McGraw, and my address is 516 Georgia, Um facility that we're talking about is Roy Oaks Community Living Inc. LLC, a personal care home for six children. And I noticed that you did have some questions about parking. Um, it will be staffed with one person per shift. So that's one car, maybe two. But four is a whole lot of parking. There will not be a whole lot of parking. And if there's any concern about the children, there's a large bike yard in the bike of it, and the bike yard is fenced in, and the staff is there. So the children won't have access or won't be able to roam the neighborhood. They will be in the backyard. And we'll have some things in the backyard for them as well. And inside of that facility, there is a game room that has a pool table, an air hockey table, and um, computer tables and things like that to keep them inside. And Kind of busy as well. Any questions for the presenter, Commissioner Wilson? Uh, they're going to do curbside drop off? Or how, how are they going to drop the kids off? Okay. This is not a daycare center. It's a CCI, which is a, it's a RCCI, which is a residential child care institution group home. So they're going to live there? They will live there. Okay. In a group home. So they will not be dropping off and stuff like that. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I do have a question. Will any of these children be of driving age? Um, these children are coming from broken homes, and nine times out of ten, I doubt they have any transportation because mm -hmm. most of them will come from homes that are broken, like alcoholic, drug addicts. Okay. They're in prison. Family members don't want them. They don't have anywhere to go, and they're falling through the cracks. So there won't be vehicles that are assigned to children. Then no, it will just be staff not. vehicles. Yes. Okay. Do you have a question for presenters? This is where I have a couple questions. So, the state actually takes these children and then they give them to you. Is that the way this works? Yes. They would be coming from the Department of Children Services and um, DJJ and other, I mean, like someone they call Department of Children Services to say that they have a problem with children are hungry and they need some placement and most facilities will come in at that point. So just for personal knowledge, is that, do you have other homes like this? Is this your first endeavor to this? This is my first home for children. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Any other questions for the presenter? Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you.
Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request this evening? There be none. Anyone here wishing to speak against this facility or this request? Anyone here this evening wishing to speak against this request? Please come forward. There be none. Commissioners, any discussion on this request? There being no discussions, commissioners, at this time I will take a motion on this request this evening. Mr. Chairman, I move we recommend approval to the City Council of this conditional use request with the listed conditions uh, in the staff recommendation, with the exception of all number two, the last sentence to be changed to read, there shall be no on-street parking by staff, common employees, or residents of the business. Mr. Coleman, did you get that? Okay, so we have a motion. Do I have a second? I got a second, Commissioner Wiles. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on this commission before voting? If not, all in favor of this motion, please say by raising your right hand. Ms. Carmella, it is unanimous again. Thank you very much, guys. Mr. Chairman, before you get started next day, I'm going to need to myself on both 7 and 8. Uh, as our firm is represented or does represent each of the applicants. Okay, Mr. Paulson, don't step aside. Well, 